very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is the last speaking so today we are going to use the 20 pips a day but as usual i just wanted to share with you what's happening so far in the extreme trader forex signals group as you can see this is the extreme premium signals from telegram and as you can see yesterday was actually very good we have ended the day in at least 40 pips of profit and the day before that actually was really good as we can see all full of profits except for one trade cast chf 33 pips of pro uh, loss i think that is m way much better than the other signals providers who just let the signal to hit the stop loss and they just announced it meanwhile we are here doing our best to reduce the losses to the maximum if we thought that uh, or if we think that the signal is, signal is gonna be in loss notice that eurocad has finished with more, more than 140 pips of profit really great i mean that is what i'm really uh, hoping to see always uh, the day before that was not so good we can see that we have some losses here and there but notice that the losses are just like 25 pips 27 pips against 70 pips profit for the eurocad and also 15 pips loss for the pound jpy so again we are just reducing them to the maximum so so far the week is going really well and we can see that is the beginning uh, june 29 uh all of the signals have reached the take profit except for the AUDCHF 12 pips of loss only which is fair, fair enough. Yeah, uh, the week is still going very well and great. I believe uh, everyone is happy in the premium group, I hope so. And thanks to Angela for her great performance providing these amazing, amazing signals. So, if you wish to join Extreme Trader Forex Signals group, please contact Angela. You can find her contact details in the description below this video. Contact her today and hopefully we will see you there. So before again we start the, the live trading session, we also I, uh, I also I also want to uh, remind the new subscribers and followers to my channel that you need guys to watch this video first in order to understand the strategy I'm about to use right now. Please watch this video the best forex strategy how to make 20 pips every day uh, that will guide you to understand more about support and resistance and to understand much more about my strategy now of course um, before we continue also i just wanted to confirm that this is indeed my live account i'm sure there are some doubts uh, some followers having they think salah cannot be trading with such confidence he must be using demo account but he's hiding Oh, <laughs> that is way too far from the rea from the reality. It is indeed my live account, and I just wanted to confirm it. As you can see, we are having right here. That is the account I'm using uh, on IC Markets broker, and I'm I am on live server number twelve. So indeed, this is my live account. All the trades you are about to see are gonna happen on my live account. I'm just hiding the number because I just don't want to show it to the public for security reasons, of course. Okay. So let's right now move on and find some decent setups. Let's start with the pound NZD. So the pound NZD, uh, let's go back to the four hour chart. Pound NZD is right now making the breakout from the support level at, uh, sorry, on the four hour chart. And our best chance is gonna be the retest of that level. So meanwhile, or sorry, meaning, we need to wait for the pair to actually make a little bit more reversal to reach the previous level of the support before we can start shorting the pair that's gonna take some time so let's just skip it and go somewhere else uh, pound AUD nothing good also pound CAD uh, nothing good yet and same also for the pound GPY nothing good yet here mm, I'm just searching the pairs one by one and I think I might need to pause the video until i find a good setup my friends i'm still searching here and there uh still nothing good all right i think uh, i don't want to waste anyone's time uh please let me just pause the video and i'll be back to you once i enter or once i find the next setup all right so i have found here a good setup actually we can wait for it um for the euro and zd let me just explain to you the reason why i'm looking for this setup now on the bigger time frame or on, on a bigger scale we can notice that we had right here a previous support level now that support has become already here a support number one after the bearish or oh, sorry the bullish breakout candle and right now we can expect the pair to create support number two now of course i am on the re really big uh, big scale so zooming in 
we can notice that we are having right here the support number one and right now I'm waiting for the market to reach the support number two and there I can actually place the buy order now it's very important to explain to you my friends now those who are following me for a long time they know that when I am seeing a support or resistance there is the right way to draw the line of the support or, or resistance uh, in my opinion it's wrong to draw it like that at the lowest bottom of the wick or to draw it at the closure time or the closing of the candles like that uh, in my opinion the right way to draw the support line should be in a way uh, the line is touching all of the wicks and that is exactly how we do it so as we can see my friends right here I have drawn my line in a way it touches the shortest wick in the reversal and if we look at these uh, tails right here or wicks we can see that we are having this long one and we are having right here also the long one and that is the shortest uh, tail of the reversal and I have drawn my line in a way it touches all of them and especially the shortest one so that is the right way and therefore <coughs> now we just need to wait for the pair to fall a little bit more touches the same level of support i have drawn here and then we are gonna place the buy order uh, that's gonna be really good setup and i'm actually gonna increase the loss size i'm just gonna, gonna make it 0 0.40 that should be fine and <clears throat> the good thing here is since we need to exit our trade if we place the buy order right here we need to exit our trade at the nearest support or resistance now the nearest support is just right here followed by the nearest resistance which is right here so of course which one of the, which one of them the pair is gonna hit first of course it's gonna be this one the previous support level right here uh, the beautiful thing is uh, since I'm on the euro and ZD a small reversal can give me a lot of pro uh, profit and as we can see it is 25 pips from the entry to the previous support that's gonna be awesome and let's just wait for the pair to fall a little bit more down and expect it to bounce exactly at that previous support level uh, let me just uh, do something right here I'm gonna set an alert so MetaTrader is gonna send me a notification once the pair is actually gonna touch that level I think I have another alert for the pound JPY let's check it out I, th I think I forgot it I forgot it to be honest let's let's just cancel it I don't need it anyway let's focus just on the euro NZD and just wait for it what um, did it reach it euro NZD mm, not yet okay I'm gonna delete it anyway I think uh, there is a bug in my uh, software so anyway let me please now pause the video until uh, the euro NZD being activated and I'm gonna back to you once I open the buy order alright so right now I have a switch to the one hour chart and I am on the pound AUD and actually my friends um, as I told you we are going to use the 20 pips a day strategy but I think we need to stick to the rules I think the last video was not so good because it was full of just predicting the direction of the trend that is not exactly what the 20 pips uh, was about now the, this video I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make sure it's uh, all about 20 pips a day strategy strategy rules now seeing this uh, on the pound AUD on the four on sorry on the one hour chart now we can see that we had right here a previous support level that support has been broken out by this bearish breakout candle that has been checked now looking at the left as I told you on the strat strategy rules we need to mark uh, a line like that at the opening at the closure of the candle and we need to also look at the left to find the nearest resistance to my bearish breakout candle and by looking at that we see that here is empty there is nothing and here we are having a support then we are having right here the resistance that means I should actually place my trade exactly right there where this resistance is gonna keep its position as a resistance so the resistance right here is gonna be a resistance there as well so actually I think I was I think I'm late because I was just explaining to you oh my god I lost 7 pips yeah because I was explaining to you 
I missed uh, the opportunity. I should have placed the cell order right away. Actually, you know something? I'm gonna place this cell order right now. I don't really care if I'm late. Uh, the entry is still good, and that resistance is eventually gonna be a resistance. I just wanted you also to notice the entry. It was really perfect. Uh, that that the trade has been triggered exactly where the price is, and that's because of the low spread from IC markets. Really. Uh, I find them the best broker in the world, honestly speaking. Now, since I have placed my trade right here on that resistance, I need to exit, of course, at the nearest uh, support. And I set my take profit to be right here. This is the nearest support to my entry. And thankfully, that's going to give me about 20 pips of profit exactly. Perfect. Uh, let's just set the same as a stop loss just to be sure that nothing is going to happen suddenly and the trade might actually uh, screw up. Let's check again the Euro NZD. I think um, it's very close actually to happen. And yes, it's very it's getting closer. Let, it go, let me go back to the 4 hour chart. And yes, uh, it's getting closer. Uh, let me now again, my friends, pause the video until I find another setup that I can enter front of you. Okay, now I'm looking at the AUD CAD and I think it's very interested. I'm gonna place another sell order right here. Um, let me explain to you the reason. Now, remember, my friends, we are on the four hour time frame. Okay, so noticing that we are on the four hour time frame, we can remember that actually each candle can re represent its own support and resistance. So, in this candle, for example, here in the middle, we're having here a resistance, and right here, we are having a support. Recently, that support has been breaking out by this bearish breakout candle. Therefore, following the strategy rules, if we look at the left to find the nearest resistance, uh, and the four hour chart is not, so, is not so clear, let me go to the one hour time frame. And as we can see, we're having the, the resistance level right there and right there, right here. And as I as I has uh, uh, as I have just explained to you, that is the right way to draw the resistance line in a way that the line actually touching the shortest week of the pattern or of the reversal. Now, what happened next? Uh, let's ignore these uh, fake breakouts. I don't care for them. What I care for is the actual breakout candle, which is right here, this one, this very same candle. Uh, we had here the support. And right here, we are having the resistance attempt. Therefore, I have placed my trade right here for the sell because that resistance right here is going to keep its position as a resistance. And that is the good thing here is th that is the resistance number one. So I have placed my trade right here. Actually, I trust the uh, support or resistance number. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, sorry. It is resistance number two. That is the resistance number one right here this week here that is resistance number one <coughs> and right here i have placed my trade on resistance number two actually i was about to tell you that i actually trust uh, resistance number one more than two uh, however that doesn't mean that the second attempt of the resistance is gonna fail of course uh, it is a uh, trustworthy and i like it actually so anyway uh, let me just now decide where is the nearest uh, support or resistance uh, there is the nearest uh, resistance right here for my entry, that is the nearest resistance, and unfortunately, it's not gonna give me a lot of pips. 10 pips only uh, should be fine anyway. Let me just set the stop loss to be exa almost the same, and let's wait and see what will gonna happen. Uh, let's check the first trade. Uh, first trade uh, still uh, going in loss, however, I think it's gonna be later in a good profit. Eventually, that is the resistance line like that. And I have already a uh, late ent uh, a late entry. Go back to Euro and ZD. Still, the pair did not reach our perfect entry. Uh, really, Euro and ZD can be the trade of the day, because as I told you, my friends, it is called the 20 pips a day strategy for a reason. We just want to focus on only one trade per day. We don't want to enter many trades. I'm just doing that because uh, I have a lot of experience in this strategy and that is my account. I have the freedom, of course, to do whatever I want with it. Anyway, um, if you want to learn and if you want to understand how to use this strategy, I highly recommend you use only one trade per day and that's it. If you want to be a day trader, you need, of course, to limit your trades to the maximum and avoid over trading. So, um, 
everything is going well so far in my opinion even though this one is going a loss uh, it is still in the safe zone so let me now please pause the video and I'll be back to you my friends to show you if I opened another trade and what's it gonna be okay so actually I'm a little bit upset because I was talking and talking and I noticed that the recording software was not uh, running I have entered actually another trade the pound JPY and okay let me explain again the reason uh, sorry it wasn't recording so um, on the one hour chart for actually I just want to check again the euro and ZD I think it's gonna hit it anytime someone might tell me Salah why don't you place a pending order I will tell you I don't like it because I just need to watch the price action maybe something is gonna happen and it's not gonna be a good deal anyway so I just want to keep my eyes on it and I want to watch the live the the price action happening it's just like three pips away from the perfect entry I'm gonna place let me just reduce the lot size okay I'm gonna enter anyway for the euro and ZD that is the setup that we have been waiting all uh, since the beginning of the recording no now let me go back to the uh, pound JPY I need to explain to you the reason why did I, did I enter this trade now looking at the pound uh, JPY now on the four hour time frame we don't see much clear setup actually but however if we move to the one hour chart and if we even go to the 30 minute time frame now what do we see on the 30 minute time frame we see that we are having right here a previous support level now that support level has been broken out by this bearish breakout candle now of course someone might tell me but Salah this is not a bearish breakout candle I will tell you no you are wrong it is indeed a bearish breakout candle from that support level it has made the break out of it and it went all the way to the next support right here and it has just reversed so what we are having right here is uh, a support level number one and here this one support level number two so the the candles or the market has reversed from the first support level and right now it went down all the way to the next level of the support and right there it has reversed and right now what's happening the market is retesting the broken support level or the broken uh, first level of the support and exactly that is right here where I have placed my sell order that is exactly what we're having right here and as we can see uh, the nearest resistance uh, you might tell me this one here all right it is a good uh, point but however that is not the resistance I relied on that is not the ne nearest resistance the nearest resistance is actually right here uh, this week right here my friends this week here as 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 tiny as it is it is still representing the resistance and that is exactly the nearest resistance to the bearish breakout candle that's why I, ha I have placed my sell order right here and thankfully the pound JPY uh, we are having the nearest support level to my entry exactly right there so I have placed my trade right here and the take profit right here at the nearest uh, support that should give me approximately 21 pips of profit which is really great so we are having right here uh, these uh, four running trades I'm not gonna enter any more trades because I'm using actually a big lot size on this small account so that's gonna be it uh, let's now review the signals to, uh, sorry the trades together now we are having the pound AUD uh, going in profit so far and for the AUD CAD still uh, ranging let's wait and see what will gonna happen with the AUD CAD and if it closed in loss I'm gonna open another trade to recover and pound JPY is going in profit and euro and ZD still going well so everything is going fine let me now please pause the video and I'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with these trades and just wanted to show you how the trades are running so far we can see that the euro and ZD has reversed exactly from the line I have drawn here my friends please check out this perfect uh, way to draw the support line I have entered a little bit earlier um, if I entered on the perfect time actually I could have been right now in uh, six pips of profit but instead sadly I am just in one pip of profit because I entered early uh, let's check the other one the pound JP, look at the pound JPY it's reversing exactly as I said and I think I will close it right now because actually uh, the support is exactly right here 
uh, noticing this level right here of the support so we can assume that it is exactly right here on the perfect level to close the trade right now uh, almost 60 66 dollars of profit have been made from the pound jpy perfect uh, checking pound AUD as well I think the trade is right now is going in 13 pips of profit and considering also the options we are having right now uh, thinking about it that is exactly also the nearest support so I'm thinking to close it as well with uh, $36 of profit and closed also now we are having only the AUD CAD still ranging at that resistance level and the euro and the D I'm thinking actually to close the uh, AUD CAD I don't think this trade is gonna be good and actually I think I'm gonna close it with the loss because noticing on the f looking at the four hour chart uh, what we can see right here is that we had here the resistance level and the candle has actually closed above that resistance level so that actually has changed uh, the setup and there is a high potential that uh, AUD CAD is gonna uh, st uh, continue the rise therefore I think I'm gonna close it right now six dollars of loss is totally fine we have made more than uh, I think um, nearly hundred dollars of profit or ninety five dollars of profit uh, which is great and uh, let's see right now so we only have the euro and ZD uh, let me just uh, go to the 30 minute time frame and see where, we, where where can we close this trade with the profit I think right here uh, the nearest uh, not the nearest this resistance level I think the pair is gonna continue the rise also until it hit that previous support level right there and right here the nearest resistance to it so I think closing the euro and ZD at uh, that level gonna be uh, smart or a uh, better idea so we can expect about 17 pips of profit from the euro and ZD <coughs> sorry, sorry about that okay so let's now pause the video and I'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with the euro and ZD and as we can see the euro and ZD is going in profit but the problem here is I don't want to go against my strategy uh, my strategy says that we should enter at the support level and we should exit at the nearest support and therefore uh, uh, sorry the nearest support or resistance that is the resistance and right there the pair is on that level and I think it's the time to exit the trade because I don't think it's gonna or it's, it might take some time for to continue the rise uh, to that resistance so let's just close the trade and end this uh, deal and let's just finish the video like that uh, I'm gonna stop trading for a while I think I'm gonna continue trading after like um, like a one or two hours because uh, the UK session just opened and the market might go high in volatility right now so let's just wait some time before continue scalping so anyway um, I think this video was better than the first one we did uh, this week and I think I have followed the strategy rules as they are I really hope you guys can get benefits from watching this video and applying the strategy as well so in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching